Hello Zebrahern and welcome back to Octageddon and today we're going to be continuing on with the game. I think we'll try another crack at hard mode today. I have a clear mind, a clear conscience. We just beat the normal mode and we upgraded a lot. If you didn't see the last episode, definitely check it out because we upgraded a ton. But hopefully today we can do a little bit better. There's still another upgrade. Start with $200. It cost a thousand shells. That is insane. Um, we got the dolphin, but I don't really know if I want to use it, if it's as effective as it seems. I could go all in and try to buy the chicken here. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, let's buy the chicken. Let's see if that works out for me. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more dedicated to the chicken in this setup. Hopefully everything works out just fine with it. We have three HP, so we're gonna have to do our best. I mean, it has a pretty decent fire rate, but it's gonna be mostly handled for these groups of enemies because being overwhelmed is something I'm very familiar with in hard mode. So hopefully it's something I can handle. I mean, it's sort of easy to maintain the first level. You know, like I do still have my three tentacles here, but my main goal for the next couple episodes will be earning up another, oh geez, I'm awful, uh, another thousand gems. If you guys didn't see last episode, I earned up over a thousand gems. I need to earn up another thousand just for one singular upgrade with the 200 coins. And why you might think, you know, like why is 200 coins so helpful? Well, I was able to get this chicken for 150 and that took 500 shells. I call, keep on calling them gems, because I'm used to PVZ. <laughs> but um, beyond that, uh, 200 would be very useful for Endless Ocean, and Endless Ocean is very difficult as it is, so I would love to be able just to get that opportunity. We might still try some Endless Ocean with 150 starting cash, but I feel like 200 is going to make the big difference, so I would like to get to 200. I think 200 is gonna be the last upgrade for that. We'll find out. Okay, ooh, that was a nice little shot right there. I like it. Okay, we got that one. So far, it's just been a bunch of these little submarines. Okay, got that one. But yeah, we do not want to take any unnecessary damage for a good while, so if we could just be on top of everything, that'd be fantastic. So, we got a little group of fishies here, and this is where it's gonna be super helpful. These guys would have overwhelmed me for sure, and would have just been an awful setup to start with if it wasn't for the chicken. I mean, the snake might have been helpful there, but like, I think overall, the chicken was a good choice. Okay, so I just have to be not so anti-chicken, <laughs> is all. A huge wave of enemies is approaching. Let's see what we can do about them. Are they going to be little fishies or are they just going to be submarines? Because if they're just going to be submarines, I should be fine. I mean, this, this doesn't feel very huge so far, I'll be honest, but all I want is more coins. We got 200. We just really don't get too many coins. Uh, instead, I mean, we I would hope that we'd get a lot of shells, but we really haven't gotten a lot of shells either. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and then boom, hit you guys. Oh, I took them all out in one shot, which is fantastic. Did I get you? Not quite. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then right in the center, it's like bowling, it's fun. <laughs> okay, this is a little scary. Get you, turn around and hit you like that. That's not gonna get all of them. That's not gonna get all of them. That will. And get rid of you. Awesome, 275 coins after the first level. We got ourselves a couple shells, nothing crazy. We got a lot more to go, so I'll just keep at it. Okay, what are our enemies coming up? This has been getting more and more useful. I think. Oh, if I had 25 more coins, the best strategy in my opinion would be B goldfish. So I guess I'll just go with B. Yeah, I'll just go with B because it's just a lot here. So the B will be helpful because it just has such good range, you know? Okay, let's get to it. The B can do its B thing, get rid of you. And it has decent fire rate, so. Oh wow, did an egg hit those guys on the top left? I didn't even see it. <laughs> that was lucky. All right, but yeah, it's all about slow slow and steady, making sure every choice is the correct choice. Is a very difficult thing to do, but it's what we gotta do. Okay, so these green guys, I don't know what's different about, about the green guys compared to the purple guys. It seemed like the green guys were actually slightly slower though, like the purple guys were catching up. I don't know. They definitely don't take like more hits or anything. They still get taken out in one hit. All right, nuclear wave, this is where I think the uh, the B will be the more helpful situation. So let's get the B where we need him to be. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll definitely get you guys awesome, that was great. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, treasure chest. Okay, so I need the B to focus on that. Come on, come on, boom. Because the B's gonna hit it way more consistently. Oh boy, that's a little scary. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, no, the, the egg's not gonna catch up in time, that's a shame. I got a couple coins out of it. That's the most I can expect, right? If I was better at the game, would've been fine. 
Okay. So, uh, 400 coins so far, though. We're starting to bounce up a little bit more. It is just going to be really slow and steady once race. We got 100 coins there, fantastic. A huge wave of enemies is approaching. I feel like getting a friend would be good too. You know, either it be Puffy or Master Wu. I think that'd make a big difference here. So let's go ahead and get rid of Yoon. I don't think we've actually gotten an ally a single time in our entire hard mode attempts. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. He was like circling around him. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that group. That was perfect. Boom, and then that's sort of the hard part about the bees. The bees actually making these guys split up a little bit, which I don't appreciate, but hey, we got it. That is going to be another level done. Almost a thousand coins now. So that was a pretty good level when it comes to earning up cash. Because we went into that with what, 25 coins? Hmm, lots of options. What do we have coming up? More of this. I wonder if it would be good. I mean, I could also buy an extra tentacle. This would be 300, 400 between these two. Oh, so I could actually afford that. Um, Then maybe I should do that. I should do like double B, double chicken, tentacle here. I think that might actually end up being good. We'll see. Uh, There's gonna be a tough level no matter what, but having these clustered enemies obviously isn't easy to deal with, so I think that this will help with that. Um, We'll have to see, I'm a little nervous. It's gonna take a lot of focus and a lot of, I guess even multitasking to get this done properly. Come on, get him, nice. Actually surprised we survived that without getting hit. That was a little little close. Too cold for comfort, maybe. Oh, the golden guys are not gonna be fun. The piranhas, golden piranhas, not fun. The bees are both helpful and not so helpful. It's weird, it's a weird win-lose situation with them. I almost got hit by that piranha. That would have been awful too, because it, it, you know, our explosion wouldn't do anything after getting hit. Okay, the egg did not hit him. It went right through him, which is a shame. But the hope, if you guys didn't see, you know, our run last time, we had so many roosters, and it really did actually change the run a lot. It changed my mind on chickens in general. Boom, get rid of you guys. Uh, got it. And then keep moving, keep moving. Oh, geez. Nice. Okay, so we're handling this okay. The chickens are pretty good for this boss. I mean, it's sort of slow and steady wins a race because we're not really trying to hit him too much. The bees are just doing that job for me and I'm just trying to survive against these things, these little monsters. Okay, come on, come on, got it. And he occasionally just will accidentally run into an egg and that just benefits me, like right there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Got it. We're, we got him, okay. We didn't take any hits so far this round, this entire run. We haven't taken any hits, so that's gonna be 200 more coins for us, which is great, and five more shells. I'll take them. I'm like trying to stay interesting. Oh, we got the pelican. I could, is now the time to experiment, you know? Is now the time an appropriate time? Now the time is an appropriate, what am I talking about? I don't know. Because I could get a firefly puffer fish, and that could be plenty effective for a long while. Mmm, because if I get this pelican, swallows enemies whole. So he swallows them, instead of like the frog who grabs them and swings them around, he just eats them. That could be good. I think we gotta try it. A lot of people have been saying the pelican's good. I'll also get the snail. And we have 75 coins left over as we go into our first ground level of this hard mode run. Man, he's huge. The pelican is gigantic. He's so doopy looking too. He's like, ah, I'm a pelican. It's gonna take us forever to defeat these buildings, by the way. It's gonna take us a long, long time. That's okay. Ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to eat this thing if we can. If we can swallow it whole, that'd be great. Uh, there it goes. Uh, it's in his mouth. Whoa, okay, he spat it out. He does not swallow it. Putting something in your mouth that is not swallowing, that is a process before you swallow. Okay, uh, but that's actually, I can make that work. I can make that work. If it damages, oh, we got both of them. Oh, what if we sit on him? Does he just spit them to the floor? I don't think he does. Oh my, oh my, this could be good. Oh, well, I sort of missed. It's hard to aim it, but that could be really, really good. Okay, I see why you guys were suggesting that one. Can we go ahead and grab this? How long is the range for this? I don't think it's very long for his tongue. Come on, there it is. Oh, you know what? He doesn't stick out a tongue like the frog. He just sort of, Let's it rip. Okay, so, oh, I'm a dingus. I was trying to angle up there. That's sort of something though that I don't like is that I'm gonna be spending so much mental energy just trying to line up that I might end up ruining it for myself. Okay, the chickens are still helping a lot here. Man, hard mode is insane. 
It's just like every choice has to be calculated in such a crazy degree. Let's go ahead and shoot that up there. And then I'm gonna have the chicken deal with you. Boom, all five of you taken out in one hit. This building is almost done for. I mean, we already have five tentacles, which is pretty good. The tentacles get wicked expensive, of course, but. So we're already missing out on our snail, which is just frustrating, because I feel like that was totally unnecessary. It was just me and that one enemy, you know? See, like, I don't know if I really want any of these little guys. I mean, if I eat a bunch of them, I guess, yeah, it's like a splatter shot. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> that was actually pretty fun. Um, I don't think it, that was incredibly helpful. I think it's definitely gonna be better to focus on larger enemies with that. But in the meantime, do something like this. That'll work out just fine. I think we'll be able to destroy this building before many more guys cause an issue for me. Yep, exactly that. So we have 900 coins now, nothing that's you know breaking the bank. But that's fine, we can make this work. All right, we got 80 here, let's keep going. And what do we got? Okay, wow, with the dragon here for 9,000, it does max damage, maximum damage. That is crazy. Okay, we got the super speedies. Oh boy, okay, so I need to make a really good decision here, what I wanna do. I don't know. I do not know what the right answer is here. Ah oh, man, if we could just have one snake, the super speedies might be my downfall. I do not know what to do about that. Well, we're gonna roll around to find out, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I'm nervous. Maybe the pelican could just go over and eat him real quick, that'd be perfect. But that might be asking for too much. I don't know, we'll find out. And you know, the super speedies are gonna pop up at some point. Maybe there's only a couple of them since it's such an early level for super speedies. Like, it is very early on to get super speed. Here he is, here he is, ready? He didn't eat him, you dingus, come on! You're too slow! Oh, that stinks! Oh, okay, that's sort of changing my opinions on the pelican, he's too slow to eat it. Okay, definitely go ahead and grab some health. Game is generous, generous enough to know that it's being totally bogus. Okay, hold on, hold on. Man, that is, I can't do it. The super speedy literally kills runs. Like, everything was going fine, and then we got a super speedy. That's just what it is, last round was like that too. Like, what can I do about that? Get lucky is one answer. Try to take care of as many enemies as I possibly can, that way, when the super speedy show, shows up, I can just focus on the super speedy. But even that's just a difficult thing to do. It's like, easier said than done, right? Okay, come on, come on, come on, can I eat you? No, I can't, because you're gonna explode. All right, um, right, let's go ahead and deal with this. Down goes the thingamajig, and then that's gonna explode. I wanted to eat you, but fine. I mean, luckily we have a lot of cash. If I could replace one of the rooster or the chickens for a rooster, I feel like that would be good. But at this rate, if I could just end this level really quickly before having to deal with any more super speedies, that'd be great. There's a whole bunch of tiny fish right now. I'm getting scared every time anything pops up on the screen. I'm like ready for it to be a super speedy. It's just too much for me, too much. Oh no, not a double wave. Okay, that was really lucky. I'm gonna roll back then and then try to no, 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 come on! That is so bogus. Like, what could I possibly do about that? Nothing. I don't get it. It's like I have to buy preemptively for the super speedy just in case he shows up on any level in the game. But if I do that, then I'm not going to be preparing for what I need to handle this round. I wanna guess there's invisible stuff. There's not, actually. I need to buy the Firefly. And I have an exact cash to buy an extra thing. That can't happen that way. I'm gonna go ahead and replace a chicken for a firefly. This is the fastest fire rate thing I'm gonna be able to get here. Man, that stinks. Like that is just really, really tough. There's just not really much I can do about it. I mean, we have more super speeds. Why are we getting super speedies sooner and sooner every single time? Like that's not cool. I feel like the far, like the harder I try to do good in this hard mode, the harder it makes it. It's just like maybe it's not possible to win. Or maybe it's just so RNG based, you know? Like, which would be awful. Okay, that was fine. The missiles are gonna start landing, but they're not landing on me, apparently, so. I don't care. Thank you, chicken. Trying to be ready for that super speed at any point in time. Okay, Pelican. 
Oh, he ate all three of them. Holy cow, dude. You got a big mouth. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna wait right here. And if I can shoot this right at the butcher. Ready? Ugh, I don't know if that's gonna reach the butcher or not. Oh, it actually did a little bit. Not by a lot. It didn't really do as much damage as I was hoping there. But uh, if I take one hit of damage here, and I remember how hard this boss was the last time I did it. Maybe I should have replaced the other chicken. So if I replace this chicken, I would actually still be able to have both bees out. So that was a mistake. Okay, so when you start wiggling, you're wiggling, I gotta move back. He's already down to like more than a third, but it's the second half that's really difficult because they end up throwing so much stuff at us, it's basically impossible to deal with it all. Okay. Uh, got it. Okay. Firefly, maybe. Or not. You know, just survive. Just survive. Only one have one hit, remember. So I have to make my choices as wisely as I possibly can. As long as I can occasionally get a couple hits in, that's the most important thing. But the problem is, the last time we did this, we got so overwhelmed with all the ships and everything. There we go, eat him, because why not? I'm not even gonna bother trying to angle him up, because I know it's not gonna work my way. Hmm, oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that! I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. That was so dumb of me. Okay. What do I do here? What do we got coming up? It's all the same. If I put, I need to, like, I would love to keep using the Pelican, but there's too much stuff that needs a quick reaction. So I need to go with even just a snake, or maybe the elephant? But I feel like the elephant just delays the inevitable with the super speedy. I mean, I already have my quick shot. Maybe this is what I need. Okay, we'll try it. All right, okay, ooh. Well, there's one of the super speedies out of my hair. I mean, I don't know if there's a finite amount of them that are supposed to spawn. Okay, blow you away, blow you away. It doesn't work! Come on, I need more time than that! Well, I just wasted 50 coins and a pelican, so I guess a lot more than 50 coins. Oh, hard mode is, why am I getting so many this time? That's not cool. Ugh. Man, what do I do? Like, is there really anything feasibly I could do about that? I don't know, probably not, knowing how hard mode has been so far. Probably not. But let's just hammer him down as much as we possibly can while we can. See where that, the butcher's knife's not gonna land on me right now, that's great. Getting for, through the first chunk of his health is super duper easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, got it. Destroy some of this stuff. But you know, I'm trying, I'm learning, I'm fighting, you know, to succeed. And it's it's working out okay, I guess. I just really wanna be hard mode. <laughs> Having to be in the Firefly right here is great, which is why I wanted to sort of set up the Firefly in a way where he actually, like where both bees are out. It's just, it does definitely stack up the damage in a really good way. I almost just let myself get hit by that for no reason. Come on, I can go up like this, and then I can do so much damage, maybe. Okay, I did an okay amount of damage. I wanna say so much. Oh, okay. Somehow I survived that. I feel like I'm starting to get really lucky. Oh, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Back it up, but also hit him. And then, right as he's available to be hit, ready? Boom, 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 got him. Okay, so if he could explode all the airplanes too, that'd be great. Uh, I don't think he's gonna, he might, he might. Oh, he does. He gave us a lot of coins there. 500 is pretty big in hard mode. So we're over 2,000 now. I finally did it. No thanks to super speedies. Let's go ahead and angle this like this. That way the bees are all out doing their bee thing. Hmm. Got that dude. Good, good, good. Keep destroying, keep destroying, keep destroying. I think we'll be able to get it. The chicken looks really funny from this angle. Got it, okay. Ooh, come on. Okay, we got it, awesome. So, level one of hard mode is done, or I guess world one, mission one, you know. But it's, we've, be, we've beaten mission one every attempt of hard mode so far. We got a couple shells, oh hey, we got ourselves a little eel. He's so funny. I don't know, he just like, he has this funny little face. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so this. Try to break 100 shells here so that we can be one-tenth of the way to 200 starting cash. 
I can't imagine there's anything more than 200 starting cash. Like, that'd just be crazy. All right, well, we'll do whatever we need to do. Hard mode is exactly what it says it is, and there's not really much I can do about it except for just get more shells and get better at it. I mean, taking an occasional crack at it like this, I think helps, oh boy. Got it, okay, I actually did that pretty well. Um, yeah, we used our Pelican power a little bit earlier. I wish it could have gone on for longer, but it's just not really feasible in hard mode with the super speedies being an issue and me just having only so much real estate, so I sort of regret buying it, but I'm glad I tried it. But as I learn what things are gonna be good and better, like, you know, I would have saved a couple hundred coins there and I would have been able to get the puffer and something else, I can't remember. And like, I'll, I'll learn, I'll learn and I'll improve and I'll explore different options. Okay, go ahead and hit all these. And like, maybe I'd be at a way better spot right now. Maybe I would have been able to beat the boss in the first try and not have taken any damage so far if I didn't get the Pelican. Not to say the Pelican is bad, it just didn't fit the situation it ended up needed. I needed to be. Okay, there you go. Oh boy, I just barely made that. You know, I could use my ability or I could just be awful. Honestly, I don't like the ability too much for this because stuff keeps falling and it just gets confusing and messy. Oh, here's the end of it. Ready? Oh, come on, that's not fair, the missile. <laughs> See what I say, it gets confusing and messy. So we're at 140, maybe we could get more here. I don't care. All right, King Cobra's good, Starfish is good. I can't afford both. Dang it. <laughs> hmm, Trunk hasn't been helping me. So I could do Starfish, I could do Coral. The Coral will be helpful. But I need more damage output. I mean, actually, I don't have the Starfish. So I could do Coral and then I could save my cash for a little bit. I mean, at the same time, we don't have any missile launchers yet, but this snapping turtle we have known has been proving useful in the past. So I know I'm, saving, I'm spending all my cash this way, but it might be what I need to do. We know the power of the snapping turtle now, and if we just pay attention enough, we'll be fine. The bees are gonna be able to help me stay afloat, pun intended, um, in the water levels for now as we earn up more cash. But if things get messy, we have Master Wu now, which is great. But I probably don't wanna leave the bees to take care of the shielded guys. I wanna use this thing, but a lot of you suggested, oh, I didn't mean to do that. A lot of you suggested that when it comes to shielded enemies, the um, eggs will be very helpful, so I'll keep that in mind. Okay, um, can somebody hit that? Thank you. We got some cash from the treasure chest. All right, things might go our way. It's gonna be tough, but I believe in us. Go ahead and get rid of you and all these guys. Luckily, we haven't run into a situation where there's been, uh, you know, hidden enemies. You know, what's it called, like invisible. But we do have the Firefly for when we need that. Okay, I do want to say thank you guys for supporting the series so far. I mean, I didn't expect this series to go on for so long after we beat the game. So I'm happy that you guys are still super interested in it. Okay. 975. This is still like my favorite area in the game right now. Cause this is so pretty and colorful. I like the seeing the silhouettes of uh, sea critters in the background. You can see that's like a little school of fish. There is a sea turtle. It's also cool and cute. But we can take two hits here. And also I have, uh, you know, my three normal lives. So like the coral helps cause it's like having the equivalent of five lives or five hits. All right, a huge wave of enemies is approaching. We have over a thousand coins, which will be helpful. And that's just off of one Sydney level. I mean, I had a couple hundred coins, but not much. Okay, got another hundred there. And hopefully I can just get lucky with shells here. Hopefully I can really run into a blue uh, conch shell again soon, because those are always so helpful. I think I'm about to use our, wow, really? Are you kidding me? It didn't go against the one I needed to defeat, which was the big black submarine. Wow, thanks, Starfish. That was like the first time he's ever really let me down. Huh. Oh wow, the Saw Shark is 3,000. What are we going against? Mm, I'm glad I got that snapping turtle. I had the opportunity because I don't have the opportunity anymore. At this rate, none of this is really going to be any more useful than what I have. I might as well keep saving. Okay, but yeah, we have that double shooter. It's gonna be good to have the snapping turtle instead of having to dodge it all the time. That'd just be easier to take that opportunity, but if it wasn't for the fact that they shoot lightning fast, holy cow, wow. Okay, that is so much to deal with. 
Like, that was alarming. All right, well, I'll do what I can about it. Boom. It's just like they throw multiple at you at once, which is the ridiculous part. Ay, ay, ay. What am I gonna do about all this? Well, we've lost our coral. We've already lost a life. Remember that. I don't wanna lose any more. If I could go through Sydney without losing any lives, that'd be great, but okay, there's a lot to deal with here, and the bees are gonna have to start working overtime because I need to focus on the black submarine or it'll be too much. Come on, come on, get him. Thank you, that was awesome. We're getting tons of coins and we needed 1,500 for the extra tentacle. Nuclear wave actually might not be so bad with bees. Just go ahead and point a bee down there. And then when I need to, which will be right now. There we go, I just needed him to destroy that submarine. That's exactly what he did. Now a huge wave is going to approach soon, so hopefully he can be ready for that. But in the meantime, I can deal with these dudes. I can deal with them, I think. Oh jeez, oh jeez, snapping turtle. Jeez, dude, stop, 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 stop. Come on, that is so unfair. There's like, there's nothing else to describe it beyond unfair. Okay, we got another shell there. I'm glad we did pick up a 10 shell before. Holy cow, I'm like in an episode of The Matrix. And that, <laughs> The Matrix was not episodic. It was, okay, they had sequels, but it's not a TV show. Oh my gosh, what could I have done? I don't understand, we're back down to one health. That is so frustrating. It is so very frustrating, but at least we're climbing in shells, almost at 200. If, I could, if the game could just throw me a bone. Oh, now I have to make the tough decisions. What do we got coming up? What will be more useful here? The double queen bee or the rooster? I think we've tried the queen bee strat in the past, right? And things didn't turn out so well. So maybe the rooster is my calling here. Let's do that. I just, maybe just have to rock out with five tentacles for a long while. I mean, the bees sort of did what they could do, you know? I think the rooster having tons of eggs everywhere, it's already sort of working out pretty decent. Okay, uh, uh, it is just so much to dodge those stinking things. Can Master Wu destroy one of them? Thank you, dude. Okay, Snapping Turtle, thank you. Just these blaster dudes are too much. They are way too much, it's ridiculous. I don't know how I made it to the end of the last round, I'll tell you that much. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. And then just destroy you guys any way I can. Come on, 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 yes! Okay, the longer we can survive, the better. The more coins we'll end up getting. So yeah, that whole idea of not dying throughout the entirety of Sydney, not gonna happen. I'm gonna get hit by that. That is insanity. Total insanity, it's crazy. Okay, so I have a lot of options here and none of them really work out for me. I would love to get the Cobra, but I need an extra tentacle, I think. I mean, maybe I should not have two bees. Like the two bees isn't working out as well as I'd hope. Um, so I'll just put a Cobra over it. It's still the same setup, mostly, so let's try it. Let's see what we can end up getting done now. Because, I mean, I didn't really have many bees for our previous hard mode run, or not, our, our previous run uh, that we won on normal mode. So like, maybe that's just what I need to focus on. I just barely hit that with the snapping turtle. This already feels a little bit better. So maybe it's just what I needed. A little bit more DPS. Because definitely this, you know, the Cobras and everything has the, uh, oh wait, oh, just barely. Luckily the radius on that is pretty large. And for the next time I see one of those, I just have to, I didn't do that. I did not press. Left and right at the same time. Come on. That's not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just destroy whatever I can. Snapping turtle, just barely. Snapping turtle, just barely. I can't do both at once, game. What do you want from me? I'm not a wizard. I can't, I can't do that. It's insanity. I can't dodge stuff or block it while having all my best tentacles facing where they need to be because that's just not how it works. It's insane. Okay, well luckily there'll be nothing blasting at me this time. It is the Megapede though, which nobody likes the Megapede. I still do have one extra hit from the Coral, which is great. At this point I might have to buy an extra life, but it's just like, once again, as I've said before, if I have to buy an extra life, I'm probably not doing well enough to make it anyways. Oh, come on. All right, so I've just about, yep, broke off an entire section. I'm trying not to do that too much though. Just trying to do it one section at a time, that way he stays as one unit. That's way better for me. 
Come on, come on. You know what? Now is the time to use Master Wu because he was just getting way too close for me to do anything about it. Like I would love to use the lobster, but I'll have to use the snapping turtle. Oh, there we go. Luckily, this is where the uh, rooster is gonna be a little bit more helpful, I think. Come on. The snapping turtle is actually doing some fair amount of damage down. I'm happy with it. I think it's actually just easier to focus the snapping turtle. Okay, we got rid of one more link. Come on. Oh boy, he's moving quick. And he knows it. Come on, dude. Go get a hobby. That's not beating me up. Ugh, he's the worst. It's an unavoidable to not take at least like three damage there. In hard mode, at the least. Ugh. What do I want to do here? Cause like if I buy an extra tentacle, I can't put anything on it for a while. It'd be so good to be able to get a scallop or a puffer fish, but I'm just under that bar. Oh man. It's like if I go buying a tentacle route, it's just like, I want to be out of options for a long while, earning up cash again. I mean, honestly, this doesn't look too difficult with what we have, luckily. So I think I'll be good if I just put an extra tentacle here and just go with that. Okay. Because it's not a matter of not having enough options now. It's just a matter of not having enough cash. So if I could just play well for a couple rounds, that just get me going. And you know, I'm saying I don't have enough cash, but I've had plenty of time to make some awful mistakes in hard mode. I bought the Pelican and I ended up not needing it and replacing it pretty quickly after that. Those are the kind of mistakes you not, need to not make in hard mode, but obviously I need to find out what the Pelican does to find out if it's a worthy investment and I had that opportunity. But the more I learn, the less mistakes I'll make like that and the higher of a chance we'll be able to get hard mode done. So I'm not like, my confidence isn't destroyed. Of course, if we run into an onslaught of super speedies, then my confidence might be a little bit withered. But we'll have to see. But is that, at that point, is it really my fault? No, it's not, it's, it's super speedy's fault. Everything is super speedy's fault. Have you ever spilled like your cup of tea or coffee in the morning? Super speedy's fault. Have you ever just like not done well on a test you studied hard for? Super speedy's fault. Except for the good things. They're, they're not the super speedy's fault. Those, those, those are me. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> they're, they're, I don't know, anything but the super speedy. I'll scare away some more kangaroos. But yeah, we have enough distance going on now that it's much easier to handle the centipedes. The centipedes actually get taken out from the chickens pretty easy, the chicken eggs. That's pretty cool. Roosters don't even make eggs, by the way. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Maybe they are the chicken's eggs, he's just holding them. And he just he's collected a lot at this point, so we can spit out a bunch. And there we go. Okay, let's keep moving. So let me try to angle everything up in a usable way. I mean, I guess right here is better. I don't know, it's hard to say how I wanna order my tentacles for taking care of buildings. I mean, it's still definitely good to have the firefly out because of his fantastic fire rate. I wanna also have the chicken out though. It's hard to make, what? Come on, really? That's just not cool. Like, does his head get like 15% larger in hard mode? Because it sure as heck feels like it sometimes. Okay, where is this missile gonna fall? It's gonna fall over there. Okay, should I use, I don't think I should. Like, I have a feeling I wanna use Master Wu here. Okay, okay, I don't need it, I don't need it. Okay, we got him. Not a problem. I only have one hit point of health here, so if I could at least survive Sydney 1, that'd be great, but we're gonna have to see. All right, so where are those missiles gonna land? I'm gonna go ahead and use Master Wu now. Maybe not the most effective use of him, because he only takes care of five enemies, and there was way more than five there, as you can see. Come on, go ahead and destroy that like that. Got it, and this building's falling, so we're good there. Oh, okay, the missile's falling here. Huge wave of enemies is approaching. I'm not really ready for it, but I'll do what I can. Okay, once again, the roosters are just sort of happily hitting things just by accident, which is why it might be good to get two roosters if I can afford it. All right, that second tentacle might just go to another rooster. With the extra tentacle I have right now. Okay, move it, move it this way. Just trying to make some distance until Master Wu's available again. Got it. Okay, so Master Wu's available again, I don't need him, but we'll use him just in case he can get me an extra coin. He can't, but he tried. Thank you, Master Wu. All right, so we get five more there. Ooh, even more than five, we got 10. What do we get? Mm, not that great. 
I think the most effective thing we could possibly get here is the frog, but I feel like it's just way smarter to save my cash. If we could buy the scallop and get three hits blocked, that'd be probably pretty effective. This is the second time in a row we've gotten the scallop, and the second time in a row we have not been able to afford it. This is the speedy plane. Not the super speedy plane, but the speedy plane. The speedy plane we can handle, I think. It would be cool to have more damage output, but nothing here is going to give us more damage output except for the Black Mamba, which we obviously can't afford. Okay. Let's go for it. We got one hit point. We're either gonna lose it or gain it, but I just can't make my way past Sydney very easily. I feel like I'm, I'm doing it a bit better this time, but I'm also getting lucky that I'm not getting super speedies as much. I mean, I got it earlier in New York. Maybe I paid my dues. Maybe I paid my super speedy dues. <laughs> I pay my super speedy dues, but now I have the super speedy blues. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get rid of this stuff, but I really don't have too many options. I feel like I need to use a cobra a little bit more. Obviously, I need that king, that cobra to be a king cobra. You know, like how I'm the king of the jungle, you need to be king of the cobras. Is there a difference between a cobra and a king cobra in real life? I guess so. That'd be, that's weird though. Some weird, uh, what is it, what is it? The study of naming animals, taxonomy? That's not true. Maybe, I don't know. I think it's something like that. I can't remember. Okay, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Master Wu, for your perfect timing and for being just a perfect little starfish. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this missile striker. And we're getting a fair amount of coins this time. I would like to keep up the action. Perfect. This is Sydney 2, so no boss fight this time, but next time there will be. Roll over that. And let's try to take care of a couple groups of enemies here before we do too much more. Oh boy, get rid of the plane and then go back for the centipede. Oh, there's two centipedes now, and they're both moving quick. Get rid of Yoon. That missile will do what missiles do. Okay, the egg just happened to ha hit that airplane up there, which is nice. Got a couple more shells, I guess. I don't even know where they came from. It just sort of fell out of the sky. Okay, I wish free self would fall out of the sky for me. I mean, I guess not, because I wouldn't want it to hit me in the head. That would hurt. I mean, even if it is just a shell, I mean, after, gravity and such, you know, if it falls for a while, it can really hurt still. Okay, there we go. So let us uh, keep moving. We're actually doing really decent for our current circumstance and the options we have. Like, it feels like I have like a good run going on, like I have all these awesome tentacles, but like, in normal mode, these are like mid-tier tentacles at best. But this is a mid-tier run. And that's crazy to think about how much min-maxing you have to do to survive in hard mode is crazy. There's just so much decision making and making sure you get everything as perfect as you possibly can. That was a really lucky rooster there and I need to clear out the board a little bit here. If I could face the rooster towards you guys, that'd be great. The rooster does help a lot with these guys. I do appreciate it. I gotta move now. So is this gonna try to land right on top of me? Actually, no, we're close. Okay, cool. Then get rid of you. Let's do it with the firefly. Nice. Okay, huge wave of enemies is approaching. I'm gonna try to hope that Master Wu here, our starfish friend, can uh, help us survive. If he pops back up soon, but it might be a bit tough. Okay, oh boy, this is a problem. It's a real problem, I need your help, Master Wu. I need your help, 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 I need your help. Come on, come on, how long do I have to wait for you, buddy? How long do I have to wait? Ah, oh, man. Okay. It's still all the same enemies. Well then, upgrading to a queen bee would help. <sighs> I do not think the frog is worth my money. I think I'm gonna save. I think I'm gonna save up and just keep moving. But actually, we're out of time for today, so I think we will save it with that. Okay, well, we're trying to chug through hard mode. It has been phenomenally challenging, but I still think we have a better run going on here than we ever had before. It's just about more options, learning more, and keep pushing forward. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Octageddon. If you just put a video, make sure you comment Pelican Zebra so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.